Hello and welcome to another Euro Truck Simulator 2 video. I'm Joe and today we are going to be finally taking the MAN TGX lorry that we bought in the last episode out for a test drive. Now I've got this spec to more of a heavy haul kind of a truck. Um, I know that the Volvo that we had in the first video was kind of more of a basic, less horsepower, more suitable for like delivering marshmallows, you know, something quite light, perhaps bubble wrap, you know, nothing too taxing for the uh, for the small engine, whereas this is a real meaty uh, kind of a deal here, uh, maybe 680 horsepower with it saying 33.680, you know, it's a V8 like I say, so we're going to take this out for a drive today, we're in Manchester at our depot, let's get this thing fired up, oh, I've, I've just put the parking brake on there myself. And uh, we're going to be doing a run down to Canterbury. And um, we're about to smash the truck in bits. Now I have actually got a confession. Uh, I have bought another truck since we last saw each other. And uh, we will be having a look at that later in the video. But for now, I want to do this nice heavy haul kind of a deal. We're going to be taking some fuel or maybe some oil. Let's have a look. Uh, currently you have no delivery jobs, that's because we need to pick it up, don't we? Nice and quick off the mark there, I mean this is definitely the quickest truck that I've got in the fleet at the moment. I mean like I say, I've only got a fleet of three, so it's not like uh, we've got an awful lot to choose from, and that there's an awful lot of competition. Squeeze across in front of you there. So I'm going to guess it's one of those orange chaps over there for our trailer. Manchester to Canterbury, hot chemicals. Not just chemicals, hot chemicals. Saucy. 6 hours 53 minutes at £55 a mile and uh, we're taking 20 tonnes so hopefully this truck should be able to perform. Now I don't know if it's going to still be hot when we get there. I'm assuming if it's not hot then uh, we will lose points. Way there we go. Get it in the old reverse. Way. Don't hit the trailer too hard. If that thing explodes, you're gonna know about it, and you won't get paid probably. So uh, yeah. Right, off we go. Full steam ahead. The MAN is it, it just copes. It just copes. That's that's all I can say about it. You know, under the intense pressure, it just behaves brilliantly. I'm in the Scania which I have, uh, which I wasn't going to tell you what it was and appear to have inadvertently just uh, given the game away there. Are you not letting me out? Oh that's really mean. That's, that's just, are you actually having a laugh? kind of feel like them in the blue car will have thought that that was for them rather than the uh, rather than the car in front. We'll catch them up and give them a good old blast on the horn. Like that. That's exactly what we're going to do. And maybe even a bit of a uh, bit of treatment on the old flashy flashes. There we go. I, I feel like that's them told now. Yeah, they're, they're not going to mess with us again. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you down in Canterbury then. Assuming it's Canterbury we're going to. Where are we going? Uh, Canterbury, yeah. I'll see you down there. Enjoy some nice music and a nice sort of time lapse of our drive. See you in a bit.
Right, well there we go, that's just less than 50 miles until we arrive into Canterbury. I'm sure you'll agree it's been a nice, smooth and easy drive. The, uh, the MAN is an absolute pleasure to drive and uh, I'm about to miss, well not miss my exit, I'm about to come off one exit too premature. Or maybe several exits too premature, I don't actually know how long it is until Canterbury. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to drive the MAN. Got a nice big windscreen, hasn't it? When you're kind of looking ahead, huge, huge view. It's uh, yeah, it's definitely nice to drive. In terms of the uh, the heavy haul setup that we've got, I don't know if you noticed going over Dartford Crossing uh, in particular, the other lorries that were just struggling with their loads, whereas this just went flying past them. I mean, it didn't help that uh, that that fool. Uh, kind of pulled out even though he hadn't got a cat in L's chance of overtaking the other lorry yet he still pulled out in front of me and caused me to have to take evasive action uh, but yeah so uh, oh driver Patrick has leveled up oh that is good news I'm very pleased for uh, for driver Patrick it also means he's brought us some money usually uh, but yeah, so uh, not a bad drive all in all. The weather's been nice. The bed symbol is filling up, which means any minute now I'm going to need to take a nap. He's going to start, uh, going to start yawning. We've actually come all the way down to Dover. I hope, uh, you know, I hope there's some sort of branch off. We've not just kind of gone the wrong way. We are actually going to Canterbury, and not like Canterbury in Colorado. Is there a Canterbury in Colorado? I don't know. There probably is. Oh, what's this? Yeah, very posh. Cheeky little traffic light system. Oh, well, this is certainly all different since I last came down this way. Uh, in, in, whoop, didn't need to slam on that hard. Uh, but yeah, since last came down this way in Truck Simulator, definitely. Come on, we can make it through these lights. You know the drill. I, I'd say we've committed there. And we didn't get a traffic offence, so... Uh, or a traffic violation. Red light violation, that's the one. You should know you've had enough of them. So, uh, yeah, all is good in that sense. Very pretty area of the world, isn't it? I'm sure they'll be uh, they'll be absolutely thrilled I'm coming past in my... Uh, my articulated wagon. Come on, get on with it. I'm only doing to you what you lot do to me. Oh, a recruitment agency. I must have been down here before, because the uh, the map's yellow. I mean, I don't recall coming down here, but the map never lies. Oh, they're on green. Quick, quick, quick. Perhaps not a good idea to floor it up to a set of traffic lights. Think about what you're doing, you fool. I wonder how hot the uh, chemicals are that we're carrying. Do you reckon they're down to a lukewarm temperature now, or do you reckon they're still hot? Maybe there's even, like, a thing on them that, that keeps them hot. You know, like refrigerated wagons, they keep frozen food cool. Maybe this wagon keeps the liquids hot. You just never know. Or maybe it's hot in the sense of, like, hot as in the police want them. And, uh, you know, we're evading the police. That can't be right, because uh, they, they came past me earlier and didn't pull me over. So, uh, yeah, perhaps, perhaps they're not hot chemicals in that sense. Well, you just never know. Just never know. Nice and quick off the line there. It's a nice meaty sounding engine, isn't it? Particularly with the turbo as well. Now I'm feeling that because we've got a roundabout coming up, I'm going to have to be in this right hand lane. 
So we're going to go ahead and do that. Nope, you're in the you're in the wrong lane there. You're uh, you're coming off because the road is uh, yeah you don't have access to that road. It was a good effort. I like the sentiment that you had in your head, but sadly it was not right on this occasion. Nope, can't decide what gear you want to be in either. Come on, don't make me stop and put the handbrake on. Go, 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 come on, go. God, I don't know. Took long enough. Uh, took you long enough, Mr. Focus. We'll see if we just, you know, kind of play it chilled around here. Can we? Can we get you to? Uh, nope. You're going to make a stop. Thanks for that. Really appreciate it. Just about. There we go. Right. Well, uh, well, we're going round the roundabout, but we can move over to this lane. And hopefully, if we're fairly quick, we're going to get through these lights as well. Oh no, just starting to rain. That's no good. There we go. Oh, there goes the first yawn. I told you we're going to need to rest soon. Well, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do that as soon as we get to our destination. And we've discovered Canterbury. This is the first time I've been down here. Better actually slam on. Are you gonna? Way you're gonna miss your junction. Come on, love. Pay attention. You've done so well thus far. Don't cock it up at the last minute. I don't know. There we go. So, where do you need it? Charming. Great stuff. Right, okay, nope, it's fine. That's where you want it. They're unbelievable, aren't they? I should really look while I'm just reversing out onto a road. Although, to be fair, we could perhaps just cut across the shrubbery and, uh, and park this quite well. You know, anything is possible, after all. Are we are we parking it the right way round here? Ooh. Oh come on, that's that's more or less. I mean the truck's not in the correct place, but the, the trailer is. That's that's pretty decent. You have to give me that. Hey, there we go. There we go, can't argue with that, £21,500, that's excellent, we've even levelled up so we're going to uh, we're gonna be super boring and just upgrade the long distance delivery that we can make. As you can see I am just literally making my way down the list, yeah. That's fine, we can go a little bit further. Anyway, next we're going to drive the Scania. So here we are in the Scania. It's a Scania Streamline 380 or R380 in our wonderful Eddie Jobart livery. Of course, everything's in the same livery. You'll notice that unlike the other two, I have actually spent some money, like putting some funky little Scania badges on an air horn on the top. I'm sure they'll love that at three o'clock in the morning in Manchester. And some fantastic flashy flashes, uh, which I have for some reason. Why are they not? Why are they not working? They were working. There we go. Uh, we, we want high beams. Oh, what, what's happening there? For some reason, they're not working. They, they were working earlier. Hmm. That's an odd one, isn't it? Uh, ooh, dear me. Light adjustment. Ah, there we go. Right. Okay. That's the one. Ah, it's working now. See, look at that. You'd be, you'd be completely blinded with that coming towards you. There we go. Let's get coupled up to our trailer. We're taking some coconut milk over to Hull now. We're back in Manchester because obviously that's where my little person is based. I could travel to another depot, but I thought, well... I don't have a depot in Canterbury, so we couldn't just appear down there and drive somewhere else. So I thought, eh, what the heck, we'll go back to Manchester. 
Now, uh, the only thing that's slightly distracting about this is the Scania logos, which I... Oops, let's just... yeah, it's not raining anymore. I think that it looks quite good from the outside. I don't know quite how they're staying lit up. I don't know if it's a glow-in-the-dark sort of a thing. Uh, or whether they're batteries or, you know, that sort of thing is completely above me. Uh, I'd, I just like the fact that they're pretty and blue and light up. I really like that. Uh, I've also put the, the glitter ball in the middle, of course. It has to be a glitter ball. And uh, I've not really done anything behind there. I could put something down there, but oh, for goodness sake. Well, I'll have to slam on, I guess. I'd have definitely had a fine for that. Now, I'd actually shied away from buying the Scanias. Because when you uh, when you buy them, you get this menu in the middle. You see, you can see your, your engine temperature. Or is that fuel? I think that, that might be fuel. Yeah, in fact, now that I come to mention it, I think that definitely is fuel. Uh, and I was always annoyed because you couldn't put the cruise control on. You couldn't see what your cruise control was set at. But by pressing the I key, you can cycle through all these options. Now, I'm sure that many of you watching who are, you know, seasoned Euro lorries professionals will have been like, oh my god, I can't believe you didn't know that. That's like literally the basics of this game. Well, I didn't up until uh, somebody pointed it out to me. So... Uh, can't remember the name off the top of my head, but thank you so much for that. I really do appreciate it. And uh, and yeah, so that for me is a real game changer. And out of all the lorries, the Scanias pretty much are my favourite. I mean, I, I absolutely, I, I just think that the Streamline and the the R series are just really good looking lorries. You know, I mean, the Volvos are as well, to be honest with you. But. The Scanias, I think for me, are just a little bit, you know, just a little bit better. We've also got a retarder on this lorry. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, for me, they just beat them to the post. And I was absolutely gutted that until this point, I've never been able to drive them on the basis of I didn't know that you could do that. With the, uh, you know, with the, with, the, uh, with the cruise control. There we go. Anyway, I'm going uh, to let you listen to some more music now. Uh, so I hope you liked it last time, otherwise uh, the next couple of minutes could be a bit of a chore for you. But uh, yeah, see you over in Hull. Well, there we go again. We're uh, we're making good progress. We're nearly in Hull. There's a uh, there's a massive performance difference between the MAN and the Scania, purely on the basis, like I said, the MAN is set up as a heavy haul truck, whereas this is just kind of a more light goods, you know, sort of a deal. Uh, particularly on the hills when joining motorway slip roads as well. You're like, come on, little truck. I mean, this only has 380 horsepower, which I was speaking to uh, one of my friends who is uh, who is actually a lorry driver, who says that actually 380 horsepower you would rarely find 
a truck that's not specced to a higher rate of horsepower in the UK uh, purely because of our you know our hilly terrain and what they're carrying uh, you know it, it is struggling I mean all, what are we carrying now did I say we were carrying coconut milk way nearly slam on so uh, yeah 380 oh thank you very much we'll give him a little toot toot uh, yeah 380 horsepower really wouldn't cut the mustard in uh, in a lot of circumstances right, let's have a look can we just cut across there yes we can beautiful sunrise as well I'm sure you'll agree coming over the Pennines there it's uh, it's one of my favorite drives out of Manchester is that over the uh, over the over the tops and uh, yeah so I I do hope I mean we're, we're not by any means there yet but uh, I do hope that you have enjoyed the video today I, I thought I'd fiddle about with you know like a little time lapse and a little bit of music I, uh, I hope you enjoyed it do of course let me know please let me know uh, in the comments section whether you think do you know what that's actually that made a nice change you don't usually do stuff like that uh, if it was just horrendous and you'd rather I didn't bother anymore uh, then please do tell me because obviously doing things like that takes more effort than just simply whapping a video together and slinging it online. You, know, you have to do a little bit more fiddling about with it. So uh, if you all decide that you hate it, then it, it seems kind of redundant me spending that time doing so. Onto the Humber Bridge there, very nice indeed. See, one thing that I have noticed with the Euro Truck Simulator, it doesn't really get as dark as I think it should on a night time. It's, it's quite light. I would definitely prefer it if it was a little bit darker. You know, you don't really have any kind of need to use your full beams, even in the dead of night. You know, I, I would prefer it if it was a bit darker. You know, you're driving along, you think, oh my god, where has the road gone? You can actually get away on night time. Driving without headlights on, that's how not dark it is. So, uh, yeah, that, that would, for me, would be better. Even if they brought out, like, some sort of optional patch where it was darker. I mean this is where you all turn around and say actually yeah that's been available for ages you idiot it's in the settings. And that may be the case if that is the case of course tell me about it because I want to know. Uh, but yeah darker, darker on a night time definitely. Some sort of lighting patch. Hmm. That'd be nice wouldn't it? I'm assuming this bridge bears some significance to maybe a main road but I, I can't think what. I've never driven to Hull, so uh, I wouldn't know. There's my excuse, and I'm, sk I'm uh, sticking to it. Just got to be really careful in the scan here as well. I, I think it's narrower than the MAN. Uh, as such, it's it's a lot easier to um, imbalance, unbalance, and, uh, and fall over. Yeah, it has to be said, out of the three trucks we've got, the Volvo, the MAN, and the Scania, uh, I am yet to roll this Scania, whereas I have rolled the other two, be it my fault or not my fault. Uh, so yeah, the Scania, we're, we're doing well. So far yet to have a serious road traffic collision with it. This is where we have a serious road traffic collision on this roundabout. I don't think we're going to today. But yeah, it's certainly a lot more unstable than, uh, than the MAN. I've not really compared it to the Volvo, to be honest with you, because since we bought the new lorries, I've not really driven the Volvo. I mean, that's just insane isn't it but uh, yeah we're going to be hiring some more staff because obviously I've only got Patrick Patrick uh, and uh, now I've got three lorries so I really do need another member of staff uh, so we'll be doing that I'll, I'll do that before I you know I next see you I might even buy another truck between uh, now and when we next see each other so uh, but if that's the case, then we shall drive it in the next episode. Or maybe I'll wait till the next episode to, you know, buy the truck with you guys, you know, so you can you can see what I'm buying. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Who knows? I mean, what have we done so far? We've done Volvo, we've done MAN, and we have done... Scania. So we need to do some form of Renault, we need to do some form of Iveco, a Mercedes and a DAF. I think that's all seven, isn't it? So uh, yeah, still plenty to go at. It's what we like. Ah, so here we go. Here's uh, the place that requires our coconut milk. Oh, 
Oh, it's Euro goodies. Oh, I do like Euro goodies. There we go. Right, where would you like us to park? That's, uh, yeah, that, that's absolutely fine. I think we can do that. I mean, I, I don't want to turn around and say, oh, yeah, that, that's easy peasy. Is that, could you not have given us more of a challenge? Uh, purely and simply because uh, I'll probably then cock it up. I mean, I know it is possible to uh, to use the wing mirrors to press F2 and kind of get a wing mirror so you can see both wing mirrors at once, but I, I prefer the challenge of this. You know, kind of whizzing the wheel round in every direction possible. You've not quite not quite na uh, na nailed it. Uh, that that is one expression, expression, expression. Even you know, grasp of the English language is uh, somewhat lacking this evening. Uh, you've not quite hit the nail on the head. It's what I was wanting to say. So uh, you know, nails were involved, but we weren't saying nailed it. Uh, I don't think that's an expression I've ever heard myself say. It seems to be something that people who are hip and down with the kids say, and that's uh, that's certainly not me. There we go, Scania. Beautiful, isn't she? I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button and uh, do subscribe so you never miss out. Let's go back to drive. Very nice indeed. Yeah, thanks for watching and hopefully I shall see you next time. Cheerio and goodbye for now.